Cool, let me tell you about the supports, how they work now. Here's the here's the other con. Remember how characters would just like have a nice little conversation? That'd be so in that's so interesting you get hooked to it. Not the case anymore. When a char when they when they get when a character supports with someone else, they just have this generic conversation that it's just like, uh I mean, that's the, I mean, this is a problem when you're able to support the entire cast. You just can't come with unique conversations for everyone. So you have these generic conversations. This is what uh, these supports all boil down to. Like, a C-support would be like, Oh, hey, sup? Hey, how you doing? A B-support would be like, Hey, watch your back and battle. Like, okay. And an A-support would be like, Hey, you're very important to me. Never die, okay? Alright, I promise. What the shit is- Ah! Oh god, critical. It's a good thing the Lagoos have, like, luck. Otherwise, they're uh, crit magnets. The generic Lagoos, anyway. I report why not. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here's another thing. Hidden treasure! Oh yeah, that's right. Starting this map, or I believe it was... Or, what, or probably was, um, chap uh, part one, chapter three. There's going to be hidden treasure strewn throughout the- strewn throughout hidden- certain points in the map. And characters can run into if they- run into them if they land on the space, and they're lucky enough. I'm pretty sure the percentage runs off the super- runs off their skill stat, and it fluctuates to become- and it fluctuates with the um, buyer of them. If they're a thief-type character, 60 is added to that bonus. Excellent. Might as well hold them at bay for now. Let's see what Leonardo gets. Magic, skill, speed, luck, defense, resistance. That's very nice, but I'm looking for some strength layout. I want to be able to hold that steel bow without any speed penalty. Very nice. Just saying. How'd you miss with the Damn it, Ileana! I'm gonna go back to resort call I'm gonna go back to resort calling you to fail, Yana, if you don't shape up, good woman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there. Attack there. Hey, Master Seal! Very nice. You remember what Master Seals do? They class change units at level 10 or they class change units when they're level 10 or up. Ha! <laughs> Detransformed. Appreciate sure you notice these by now. Healing jars. They're, they appear only in this map, but when you stand next to them, they restore 20% of your HP. Pretty nice. Something else you should probably know knows about the news now. They have a weapon rank called Strike. Down there. See it? This corresponds with their weapon, quote unquote. 
what they attack with. Each of the gurus at least starts with at least an A rank. When it go when the weapon rank goes up, so too does the might so too does the might of their um, attacking weapon. In some instances, also their hit. Their hit also rises. It's time for Aaron to be a man. Be manry! One of the bosses! <laughs> Come here so I can taste you. Ow. <laughs> the bosses are pretty much the same pain and agony. Except some of them are different stats. They're both tigers. They both have an authority star. Their are forty stars on stack column, so, just, so each of them, so, just, so everyone just gets plus one, plus five of their hidden evasion. So here's pain, and there's agony. Bring it on, Chuck Nolan. So you're about strikes. When you from when a character go when a lose unit goes from A to S, their might rises. Their might goes from their might of weapon raises by five, and from S to double S, it raises by another five. For a Thandy Bomb, which makes the lose very formidable. And this is, the, this is a change I, I like a lot. Or I would like if your allies could utilize it better. Problem is, they can't, because they gain weapon experience with the lose, with the lose weaponry so damn slowly compared to Bjork. It doesn't help that they have to gain it, and it doesn't help that they um, can only gain it so so few so little at a time because of the fact that they have to transform and untransform so damn much. So it kills the momentum, and it becomes a pain in the ass to get those stats to get the to get that rubber ring. because it's just like can't get it. Which is stupid. Stevity would take you out, all right. I got a cat here. Excuse me. So yeah, strikes become a pain in the ass to level up. Just limits the loser's potential. 
by a couple points. Which shouldn't be the case, but it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Insanely risky, but I'm willing to try it. Go, Aaron! How did this happen? Another thing that annoys the crap out of me. The fact that the transformation gauge of the Lagoos has been has been shifted so much because it it just becomes ridiculous for later classes. Now, as opposed to the static gaining for some characters, some that the goose get, Mephi 9. Where you gain 4 for your transformation gauge each turn, and then transform 20. Some characters gain X amount at the start of the turn. they lose that amount. Like, a cat would, like, cats gain, like, um, what was it? Like, 10 to the, like, 10 to their gauge when they trans, when, during their off time when they transform. Like, 10 a turn. And they lose eight when they're transformed. And they lose eight a turn when they're transformed. It goes down by three when they're, when they're in battle. This also applies to tigers. It's it's almost the same. It's almost the same bonus, but it's just as ridiculous. It's, this is basically translating to the Lagoos aren't aren't going to stay be staying in battle for very long. If they're not gonna gain much fighting anymore because their gate is trans is going down so fast. It's stupid. I should not equip step. What's up? Oh dear. Leonardo gets another level up. We've seen that coming. Strength! Yay! Speed! Yay! God. Could Leonardo be actually becoming useful? This cannot be! Ah! It's gonna be very hard to hit this cat. Darn! Oh, never mind. <laughs> 